Well, hello again and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're down here in these uh, maintenance tunnels underneath of Byzantium. And we're in a parcel room right now where this poor HPS worker met her fate. Was it not, I actually didn't notice that there was a body right there in the last episode. Uh, we saw this one over here. And uh, in case you didn't watch the last episode, well, there's a lot to explain. So go back and watch the last episode. But we're trying to make our way out of these tunnels and uh, return to Hortense and let her know what we found out about this whole early retirement program. But uh, there's still a little bit of exploring left to do down here. And I do like to explore. God, there's a hole in this wall here. Interesting. And uh, all we find here is um, a live sprite. This sprite is alive. Hm. I don't have a light to turn on, so I can't illuminate it. But uh, did I say sprite? Sprat. <laughs> it's a sprat, not a sprite. It's interesting to me that there's this little area here um, that really just, I don't know, doesn't seem to serve any purpose. I figured there'd be something hidden back here or... Uh, it would be a shortcut to something, but it's not. It's just a hole blown in the wall, as far as I can tell. This Sprat did not survive the Sprat Eradicators, or whatever these things are called. Sprat Exterminator, that is. Oh, Vonda Van Vermington, or Vonda Von Vermington, didn't survive. Huh. <laughs> it's so weird to me that this one has a name. I wonder if I had managed to keep this one alive, if um, something interesting would have happened. But I did not manage to keep it alive. Sorry, Vonda. Sorry. More Sprite sprat hides for us. A whole bunch of them, as a matter of fact. Holy cow. So where's this taking me? Is this just a big circle here? Let me look at the map. We're walking around over here. Yeah, this is kind of just a big circle um yeah okay just trying to get my bearings here make sure i don't miss anything don't want that to happen uh, a couple of rooms here oh, some locker rooms for the employees down here Ooh, advanced defensive helmet gold oh we need to pick our way into this no problem easy. yeah easy just like she said Sorry, Sprat. Couldn't save you either. It's funny to think the how we just survived. Oh, there was a UDL identity cartridge. We survived what we survived in the last episode. And rather than just try to get the hell out of here, I'm just walking around looking in locker rooms, stealing stuff out of people's lockers. Oh, live sprats. You're free, be free. Okay, locker rooms. Okay, uh, so, oh, how did I miss that? Jeez. Uh, I missed that because I haven't gone this way yet. Okay. Let's go this way, see where this takes us. My compass isn't showing any more enemies. So I... Oh, look at that. guess it's safe for me to just walk around fully upright. Some stairs here. Oh, there is an enemy. Just popped up. Heck am I? So now I'm over here. So it looks like there's two ways out of this place. We could go over here, we go over here. I haven't been over here yet though, so we need to make sure that we check out both places. There's a bunch of enemies over here. But all oh, rabid sprats. I was like, what, the sprats are enemies all of a sudden? Sorry, Sprat. Look at the damage I did to that thing. 
Oh, it's a big one. This one has a name, Kabalos. Okay, team. <laughs> oh, this one's all shocky. Are you dead yet? Are you dead? Now you're dead. What? Hey, there's one right behind you, you guys. <laughs> it's funny, both of them turning around. I was hoping we could bring him home. You let me have a giant sprat, right, Captain? So long as I fed it. Uh, sure, I would. But that one was not friendly. I'm sorry, Parvati. This one attacked us first, so. And again, I always wonder if there was any way uh, we could have been friends with this one, had things turned out differently. Like if I had kept the named one alive, maybe we could have been friends with this one. I don't know. I don't know. There's really no way to know. Uh, let's repair everything I have equipped. There we go. Well, let's look around in here a little bit. Bunch of dead sprats. I don't know who took out all these uh, mechanical sentries. I guess maybe Mama Sprat did this, huh? Here is a hunting rifle ultra. Oh, here's a live sprite. Sprat. I keep, I keep calling them sprites. That one's alive. Bunch of stuff. Apparently I can carry a whole lot of stuff with the help of my companions. Because I keep picking stuff up. I haven't filled up my inventory in a while. So I believe this is another way out. This will take us to the Acropolis District. Nice going. <laughs> a workbench here. And apparently this is a workbench we discovered before. Otherwise, uh, the game would have said you discovered a... Oh, nope, never mind. It just now said it. Huh. Okay, so this is not a workbench we discovered before. Gosh, that's good. So, workbench, a way out. Uh, and this is if we exit here on the map. And then, I just want to make sure that we also run over here just to look at this area. Just to check it out. But I'm curious to see where both of these exits take me, although I'm a little concerned that once I exit, I'm not going to be able to come back down here. Prosperity Plaza this way. You and your pen pal seem to be getting along. Don't... don't make it small. When you say it like that, it sounds stupid. Whoa, take it easy. Didn't realize you were so wrapped up. You didn't? You're doing it again. Oh, don't be mean to her, Ellie. Another sprat running around over there. Don't worry, sprat. I won't hurt you if you don't hurt me. We got a deal? I think we got a deal. Water treatment, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Something. Another workbench. Workbench, workbench, workbench. So I should probably break down some stuff. Uh, I've been selling a lot, and I've got <laughs> a lot of bits. Uh, but I probably could use some more uh, weapon parts. So we're going to go ahead and break some of these things down that I have uh, no intention of keeping. Ionized paper knife. Hmm. Speed grip, melee weapon, attack speed plus 15%, a well-balanced energy blade. Well, it looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll hang on to it. 
give it to one of my my peeps. Armor. That's not worth keeping. Neither is that. Or that. Or that. I don't feel like. Alright, that got us some parts. Another sprat that we can't talk to. Okay, so um, here is an elevator that uh, will take us back to Prosperity Plaza in Byzantium. So we've explored this whole area down here. I believe so anyway. Um, let's see where this takes us. I'm going to save first though, just in case I can't come back down here and I mean, maybe that's no big deal, but I'm just curious to see where the other exit takes us as well. Just curious. Who's this guy? Giles Molina? Okay, where am I on the map now? I'm here. Interesting. Huh, and we're on uh, the first floor of this place. Huh. Giles Molina, what's up, Giles? Oh, um, what are you doing here? Well, what are you doing here? Or just looking around? Or do I look like I want to explain myself? What are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it... does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Mmm, what are you so worried about? Or look, whatever's going on, maybe I can help. Or yeah, you're in big trouble. Now, why don't you tell me what you did? Oh, let's see if we could help this guy. It's what we do. I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Hmm. Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. Hmm. All right, calm down. Tell me what happened. Although I have a feeling I already know, and I have a feeling we know why that one or two sprats were named down there. They escaped. And before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Mm -hmm. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Hmm. Uh, I could look for your sprats, even though I know they're already dead. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry. You can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes. An agreeable yet reserved demeanor and a fondness for hiding. Mm -hmm. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still <laughs> want their bodies. For science, of course. For science, of course. Huh. Wow. Well, that's too bad we didn't find this guy earlier. Uh, what are the maintenance tunnels beneath Byzantium 4? Why are there exterminator manical mechanicals in the tunnels? I'm wondering why you're so attached to these sprats, or you seem surprised I'd help you. Uh, why are you so attached to these sprats, dude? They're for my, um, research. Oh, okay. Yeah, and? Oh, very well. It's true. I do run studies on them at the lab, but I also have a special connection with them. See, I'm an enormous fan of all my colonists. The early seasons, before the plot lines got tacky. You must have seen the classic episodes. Mm, not really. Just tell me what this has to do with your sprats, dude. Well, I name all my sprats after oh, my here we go. characters. That way, their stories can live on in rodent form. So you see, it's imperative that I get them all back. Hmm. Oh, jeez. So what are their names? Not just names. They all have backstories, too. There's Lord Reginald Kim III, Lady Philippa Farnsworth, Vonda Von Vermington, Haroon Greenlee, Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez, and Evelyn Ensley Okoye. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. Well, the only one that I saw named was Vonda Von Vermington. I did not see these other ones. So, tell me about them. Ah, she's the chief executive of Farnsworth Incorporated and a fearless captain of industry. He's a mercurial shareholder. They're in a rather tumultuous marriage contract. Okay, and what's poor Vonda's story? Because we know she's dead. 
She's an ambitious shareholder in Farnsworth Incorporated who wants more than stock. Or does she? <laughs> it's difficult to tell what exactly she's after, but she is trying to seduce both Lord Reginald and Lady Philippa. Oh, she's trying to seduce both of them. Uh, well, golly gee, I sure am curious about Heron Greenlee and Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez. So is everyone. Haroon is a mysterious young man with amnesia. His backstory's still a work in progress. Iskander is Lady Philippa's trusty assistant. He's trying to seduce Vonda. All right, well, who's Evelyn Ensley Okoy? She's a member of Farnsworth Incorporated's regulatory board. A wise woman with a sharp tongue and a heart of gold. Okay. Well, I've heard enough. Something else? Mm, why are there exterminator mechanicals in the tunnels? To deal with the sewer sprats, of course. They're quite the nuisance. Oh, okay. And um, why are there maintenance tunnels beneath Mizantium? Well, to maintain things, of course. Like big humming machine things with gears. Hmm. And pipes. Water pipes. Air pipes. All sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. So, why don't you go down there yourself? Everyone knows sewer sprats carry diseases. Mm. And the exterminator mechanicals have been known to fire on larger targets. Why they do that when they're only supposed to attack sprats, <laughs> I've no idea. But there are rumors. Really? Well, tell me. Some people say there are strange things in those tunnels. Assassins. A room full of murderous automechanicals. Monsters hungry for human flesh. A hidden bureaucratic purgatory where things and people are lost forever. Not that I place any stock in silly rumors, of course. It's really too bad that we didn't run into him before. I mean, I don't know if it was possible or not, but if, if we had run into him before we went down there and he, he said all this stuff, I would have thought he was nuts. <laughs> Uh, so you seem pretty surprised that I'd help you, dude. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. Okay, then farewell. So, I <laughs> have this new quest, um, called... Cupid of the Laboratory, Giles Molina, a scientist in Byzantium, asked you to rescue six sprats that escaped from his lab and fled into the tunnels beneath the city. Well, we're supposed to save the sprats. Giles warned you that there are exterminator mechanicals prowling the tunnels. <laughs> Not anymore. He'd prefer you return his sprats alive, but said their corpses are still of scientific interest. And the map tells us... Um, no, nothing really. So yeah, we know where to go, but if we didn't, I guess we'd just make the assumption that we take the elevator down. Some goodies sitting around out here. And uh, Charles doesn't care if we pick them up. Yeah, clean up the place a little bit. This place is kind of a mess. Uh, interesting. This will transition us to Halcyon Parcel Service. How strange. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. When we, when we were down there before in Halcyon Parcel Service, I didn't notice any other exits. Any luck finding my sprats? Hmm. I haven't found any of them yet. Please, don't give up yet. I know they're down there. They've got to be. All right. Okay, farewell. So where the heck are we in the in the world? I, got, I need to get my bearings here. Right after I pick up some Nanner Spank and Lemon Slap. Okay. Uh, there's an executive office for Wentzworth. Guessing this is just, uh, let's see, Bureau of Exploration over there? I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a council waiver, and you know how dreadful the paperwork is. Don't I ever, my dear fellow. 
Why, I spent three hours filing a discussion authorization just to commence our little tete-a-tete. -tete. How we suffer in the name of commerce. How we suffer indeed. Okay, so we're here. I guess I haven't walked here before. I mean, we've just discovered some uh, vending machines that we're going to take a quick look at. Uh, let's see here. He's selling... Man. Um, I mean, these are really good weapons. I mean, look at this thing. This flamethrower, a DPS of 1,445. That's huge. I mean, these things do some serious damage. But still not the weapon that I'm interested in. Some very good... Um, armor here 92 holy cow that's crazy I say as I scroll right past it okay this one doesn't sell any weapons sells some armor that's not terrible Okay. My dear fellow, you've no idea how our production has suffered. Mm -hmm. Why, the loafers working our factory lines are practically robbing us. It's even worse for us, my good man. Our workers, if one can call them that, keep losing fingers. <laughs> how are we to make a bit? Wretched, isn't it? <laughs> Poor guys, their workers keep losing fingers. So am I. Oh. We'll change the font in our contracts as per your request. If you'll replace the landscaping around your offices as per hours. Throw in a clause about hosting our weekly bridge tournaments, and you've got yourself a deal. You drive a hard bargain, my good man. They've got to pay me for something, my dear fellow. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's Billingsley's right now. Okay, I'm kind of getting my bearings here. Uh, interesting, this says Olympus River. Oh, here we go. More. Fabulous negotiator. Oh, don't get me started, my dear fellow. You are most certainly the master of this art. Ha! Look at us. At it again already. Yep, at it again already. Boy, I tell you. You too. You too. Okay, I want to see what's in this um, parcel room here. Parcel service. HPS. Hmm. I'm gonna be able. To, am I gonna be able to get in here? This uh, locked door here. Corporate commander. Oh, Olive Yates. Hello, Olive. How are you? Hmm. Oh man, that would be stealing. That looks delicious. That bag of deep fried sisty bits. Uh, how's it going there, Olive? How's everything going here at the uh, HPS? A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Oh, okay. So, um, I thought you were a customer, but uh, what exactly do you do here? Halcyon Parcel Service is the most dependable parcel delivery service in the colony. You might even say we're part and parcel of Halcyon's commercial enterprise. That's just a little parcel joke. <laughs> That's a good one. So, like, um, if I needed someone, or if I needed a package delivered, they'd come here. Nope. Just parcels. We don't deal in packages. <laughs> What's the difference? It's very technical. Halcyon Parcel Service strictly adheres to the standards and definitions of packaging as outlined by the Executive Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. We can ship all the parcels you want. But if I start shipping packages, I could get into some real trouble. <laughs> Handcuffs and hard labor trouble. Yeah, but you didn't tell me what the difference was. Oh well. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? You must think you're pretty tough. I bet I can take you. I, I'm pretty tough. I don't know, man. I'm here to tell you. Oh, here's Wanda Chen. So I guess that's where the customers go out there. I guess somehow the customers enter that way, and we're where the employees are. I really want this Nanner Spank. 
I really want it, man. Gotta get me some Nanner Spank. Oh. Oh, huh. Don't want to do that with him standing there. Uh, can't quite read that. <laughs> oh, but I can examine it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Notice to all HPS employees, due to the removal of the suggestion box, all customers with complaints are to be directed to Windows C. As our policy for customer complaints is not to deal with them, <laughs> Windows C will remain unmanned until further notice. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, that's funny. So, I mean, I could examine this piece of paper. Does that mean I have to look at each and every one of these other ones just in case I could examine them too? I think the answer is yes. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Oh, thank you, Wanda Chen. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. So here's another thing we could examine. Notice to all... Oh, this is the same thing. Okay, it's the same message. Where'd he go? He's down there. Okay. Uh-huh. I took your stuff. I don't know what you're going to do for lunch now, uh, Olive. Oh, I see. A little bit of water there. Ooh. Hey, how's it going? I'm just looking around. Guess I'm not close enough. Keep him quiet, Cap. Oh, I was told. I just now remembered this. Um. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I accidentally pressed uh, my mouse button and uh, <laughs> presented my weapon there. Uh, I almost shot her in the back. That would not be good. Hey, how's it going? We're just kind of. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! What are you doing? Get out of here! You're not supposed to get out of here. Okay. Anyway, uh, somebody in the comments mentioned that I should be pickpocketing these wealthy people uh, because uh, they're rich, except she doesn't have anything. That's funny. But those two two guys standing out there talking, I should probably pickpocket them. Oh, what do you get out of here? <laughs> Beat it. Tiki. Okay, anything to examine on here? Probably not. Hello, customer. So this is probably... I mean, for a split second there, it looked like I could interact with him. Whoa. Talk, yeah. So this is probably Windows C, right? A place where people are supposed to come and complain. Whoa. Okay. Thought I saw something. Oh, look at this. Nightingale Step mod. I'll be with you in a minute, sir. Just need to clean up a little bit in here. Oh, golly, man, I can't pick this one up. Damn it! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Here, here's 51 bits. Go away. I'll pretend I didn't see anything. I'm sure that was totally worth it. Yeah, I was sitting here trying to pick this damn thing up and I couldn't quite get my cursor in the right location and I thought in the back of my mind, I bet you that guy's gonna walk over here right as I'm trying to pick this up. Oh man, and our board reputa reputation decreased. Doggone it. Oh well, here, I need a little bit of privacy, jeez. Uh, <laughs> let's talk to these people. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Hmm? Oh, as you were. Oh, got my sights on you. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, I thought there was gonna be a funny little uh, uh moment there where we got to pretend like we were an employee, but oh well, kind of disappointing. Okay, so when this guy walks back down there, I'm gonna get into this door here. See you later. Fingers, Captain. I sure do, man. I sure do. I mean, why come in here if not to steal stuff, huh? Shut the door. Because, you know, he totally cannot see us through the, um, the window here. Let's go see what's up here. Oh, uh, there's a bin over there. There's another ladder over there that we could go up. <laughs> okay, Parvati, you go ahead and look around up there. I know you're curious. Um, let's see, where's this dude? He's walking that direction. I think we're okay. Real slick. Yeah, quiet, alright? Jeez. Good job pick lock picking that 
safe thing bin or whatever. I didn't even notice what I just picked up there. I just saw something and picked it up. Hey, how's it going, Parvati? How's it going? You uh, don't think any less of me for uh, stealing stuff like this, do you? I love the decorations. Look at that. Look at the detail. Quite beautiful. All right, where's the guard? He's down there, I think. Okay, I think um, I think we picked this place clean. <laughs> I love that they follow me up here. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff to pick up. Um, no indication that there's any way to get to that room below us, but uh, I like how they've done this. Oh man, some capsules here. All right, I think he's coming. I don't know where he is. I don't see anybody moving around out there. Okay. Oh man, there he is. That was close. All right. Um, I really don't want him to see me exit this room. I don't know whether it'll matter or not, but I'm going to wait till he walks back down here before I exit. Okay. Back out here to Byzantium we go. And now I'm curious if um, there's a way for us to enter the customer area of uh, HPS. If there is, it should be right out here to the left. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my okay, so that's that again. This must be the entrance? Yeah. Parcel service right here. Well, let's check it out. Why not? Let's see what's going on in here. It's a little quiet in here. Customer over there. Hey, what's up? Rumor has it someone's pulling doubles until the retirement district is uh, repaired. Oh, really? A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Are you? Move along. All right. Uh, well, I can't help, help myself to that. How's it going, customer? Those wastrels in Emerald Vale have all abandoned their work, did you know? How typical. What, what, what do you mean by that? I don't suppose we'll start seeing monarchs rabble around here. Hmm. How gauche. Oh, whoops. Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. That's what I've heard. What else is going on in here? Hey, how's it going, customer? Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. You know, I've heard that one before. I don't suppose we'll start seeing monarchs rabble around here, hmm? How yeah. gauche. How gauche. You have a rather exotic presence. Oh, thanks. A new anti-Cleo's facial mask, perhaps? Or experimental pheromones? Uh, yes to each, actually. I don't suppose we'll start seeing monarch. I don't suppose we'll start seeing mon... I don't have time for this. Yeah, but you do have time to stand in line at a window that nobody's ever going to come to. Hey, remember me? I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Oh. Have a prosperous day. Oh, that's too bad. I was really hoping you could help me. I, I'm in some serious need of help. Hey, Olive. What's for lunch? Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Oh. How may I be of assistance? Um, well, I guess I already talked to you when I was in there, so nothing, nothing left to say to you. Okay, well, um, it's a place, and there's people in here, and, uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Don't know if there's anything story-related for us to do in here, but, uh, back out to Byzantium we go. And then I guess we'll go around and go back down in the tunnels and collect this guy's sprats, I guess. Are you a wealthy citizen? Why, you are, aren't you? All right, can I pickpocket him without anybody seeing me? Oh, and of course, there's a trooper right there, of course. Never mind. Romanov Street. Here is a janitor. Um, I don't know if the janitor would freak out if I took stuff or not. 
Hey, how's it going? You must think you're pretty tough. I bet I can take Yeah? What about this? Can you can you take this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Here, here's 64 bits. All right, move along. Now, the the bad thing about that, well, there's a couple bad things. One is that I lose some bits when I do that, and two. I tell you what. Um. Two. Um. My reputation decreases, as you can just see there. Okay. Let's go down here and get this guy's sprats, even though we've already been down here. Let's go get them for him. Because we are nice people, and that's what we do. We help people out. So, in my inventory, apparently I've got myself a uh, crate... Sprat collection crate, a crate for transporting wayward lab sprats. We also have a UDL identity cartridge and a parcel for Minister Clark. Ah, so this is what I picked up in that room. Uh, remember I picked something up and I said, oh, I didn't even look at what it was. It's this. This parcel is light and flimsy and it's definitely not a package. Hmm, really? Parcel delivery. Interesting. I mean, it looks like a parcel, but... Oh, I'm sorry, I, I read this wrong. <laughs> this parcel is light and flimsy, and it's definitely not a package, because they don't deal with packages. They only deal with parcels, as we learned when we spoke with Olive. Okay, so I'm supposed to be collecting sprats, and uh, that does explain why uh, we saw that one sprat kind of hidden in that wall. Remember that? I was like, what's the deal with this sprat? Hey, come here. Come here, don't make me hurt you. I don't want to accidentally step on you. Okay, we got one sprat. <laughs> I don't know which sprat we picked up, because that one didn't seem to have a name. It just said, pick up sprat. And uh, sadly, uh, it does not show the sprats in my inventory. I wish it did, but it does not. Uh, sprats found one. Oh, man. Oh, well. That's, that's also very strange. Why? I mean, he named all six Sprats, but why did only one of the Sprats have a name down here? So, Vonda was down here, right? Okay. I'm pretty sure that Sprat was dead, but uh, it was making cute little cooing noises, so... Or maybe I'm hearing another Sprat. Oh, I'm hearing this Sprat that's in this wall. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Do not run. Oh, oh, th there's his name. This is Iskander. Okay, her name. Okay, so their name appears up here. Okay, so we picked up Iskander, Vonda, and I don't know who that first one was. So where did I see other uh, Sprats that are that color? I hear... Sprat sounds that makes me think there's gonna be a Sprat in here somewhere. Hi, it's uh, Evelyn Ensley Okoye. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, it's cute that they make noises. It makes them uh, much easier to find. Oh, I think I remember seeing one back here. Did I? Did I or maybe I didn't? Oh gosh, look at this. Look at all this stuff I missed. Boy, that's game-changing right there. Well, I don't hear any sprat cooing, so I guess maybe uh, there aren't sprats there. Um, this is where I just came in, isn't it? Yeah. We already got a sprat from here. <laughs> don't get lost down here. Uh, here on the left is the parcel service place, and, um, oh, what, what would happen if I actually selected this quest? Maybe it would tell me where these things are. Hmm. Lab Sprat, 87 meters in this direction.
Oh, huh, there's one hiding here. This is uh, Lord Reginald Kim the Third. Come with me. Lab Sprat. Okay, there's one over in this direction. It's kind of cheating though, right? It was kind of more fun when I was just going on sound. Uh, but this is much more expedient. Oh, here is, uh, Heron Greenlee. Yay, and we level up when we saved five of the five of six sprats. Sorry, Vonda. So very, very sorry. You found all of Giles's sprats. He'll be anxious to get them back to the lab. All right, but in the meantime, we've leveled up. I have skills, I have perks. Let's look at our perks first. What do I want to do with my perks, huh? I don't know. Detection radius of enemies eh, might be useful. Melee damage, who cares? Um, this would give us thick skin. This uh, headshot kills explode damaging nearby enemies. Eh. 30% damage while under health. With low health, but I'm almost never low health. Excuse me, science weapon damage. I don't really use science weapons. Uh, ranged weapon sway. I actually have not ever noticed ranged weapon sway. Uh, increased movement speed during TTD. That's kind of cool, right? Uh, affected by harmful combat effects. Bonus to dialogue skills when I have no companion, but I always travel with companions. Hmm. Health restored per kill. Uh, here's a chance to reset a companion ability. I like this. I like using my companion abilities, so I'm going to get this one. Okay, skills. We have uh, 10 skill. Boy, look at this. Our melee scores are actually reduced because, oh, I'm farsighted. <laughs> I have a flaw. Okay, I was working on getting some of these up to 60. Um, so let's go ahead and get our engineering up to 60. So when, when we repair our weapons, we can increase their value and durability. I don't really care about increasing its value, but its durability would be nice to increase. And then, um, yeah, let's start getting our medical up too. It'd be nice to increase the hostile effect duration on targets, right? Okay. Okay. I don't know when these guys level up again. Maybe they never do. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here and um, give this guy his sprats back. <laughs> That's a long leap, man. And just a second later, we're back to running. Not a problem. Back to Giles we go. All right, dude, I got your sprats, man. Any luck finding my sprats? I have them all. Truly? Why, this is marvelous. Oh, mm. dear, it looks like some of my darlings have some. suffered violent misfortune. Nevertheless, it's good to have them back. Thank you for your help. I'm afraid I can't spare much, but I hope you'll accept this. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. Yep, you better get back to your lab. Where is your lab anyway? I'm curious. I'd love to chat, but I can't afford the absence. Oh, okay. Well, just a second, though. I'd love to chat, but okay. I can't afford the absence. So we completed this quest. Get even more experience points. So, <laughs> I'm really, really, really curious to see where this guy lives. Or works. I mean, did did he... I think he works for HPS, doesn't he? Like, he worked in the accuracy place, so he's probably just going to go in here and disappear, right? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's not going to do that. Oh, gosh, where are you going to take me, Giles? Rizzo's purple berry punch. You 
Oh, like he's that. gonna walk through that door over there. That's how we're gonna lose track of him. I see how it is. Hello, wealthy citizens. Yep, there he goes. And there he went. Uh, Sonata Gallery, I think that's what that says. This one, um, you know, closed for a little bit of R&R. &R. So, um, I'm really curious to see where that other uh, exit takes us in the maintenance tunnel. So I'm gonna go down there one more time. I just want to see, you know, kind of round things out a little bit. I know you're curious too, right? You're like, man, I sure hope he goes back down in those maintenance tunnels again. Well, it's your lucky day. So this takes us to the Acropolis district. Well, let's check it out. Let's see where this takes us. I'm really curious. I'm excited. Where is it going to take us? I'm trying to remember a door or something that I'd seen before. Oh, here's just a I never could have handled the desk job. Okay, so there's just an elevator there. Um, oh, oh crap, this is restricted access, like I'm inside of a restricted access area, uh, but um, I'm not showing up as an enemy. Interestingly enough, Acropolis District Discovered, so this is a place that we haven't walked to before. Uh, we're over here, all right. Hmm, interesting. Maintenance Tunnels, Acropolis District, so I find this very strange that I mean, I am clearly on the opposite side of restricted access, and uh, nobody seems to care a single bit. Huh. Very interesting. Well, I'm not ready to explore this place yet, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. When we come back next time, uh, we'll actually leave the Acropolis District and go back out into uh, where the Riff Raff live. And um, I believe we may still have... Um, let's see... Wondering if I have other quests in uh, Byzantium itself. Um, yeah, we need to go to the uh, insurance agency office. And plus, there's just still more of Byzantium that we need to explore. So we will do more of that in the next episode. As always, I thank you for joining me on this episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why don't you let me know, leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next episode.